Good morning. This is David McKinley with another devotion from Central Schwenkfelder Church. One of my most favorite benedictions of the Bible is found in Jude's epistle. Jude is one of the smallest books in the Bible. It only consists of one chapter, and uh, he addresses um, the concern about uh, good teaching in the church. He fights against heresy, and he says something to close off his letter that I think is noteworthy. He says in verse 24 of Jude's epistle, Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God our Savior through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, now, and forevermore. Amen. When the minister stands before the congregation and gives a benediction to close out the service, he's actually blessing uh, the church, blessing the people, and encouraging them as they leave the place of worship to go into the world and to be the church. What's interesting about this benediction in Jude's epistle is that it gives us the reason why Christians uh, succeed in their faith because they serve a Lord that is able to keep them from stumbling. Now, uh, the truth is, is that we all stumble in many ways, and we are in daily need of forgiveness. Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer to pray, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and we need to do that on a daily basis. But there is the guarantee that one whose life is truly in Christ, that they will make progress, that they are and will be sanctified, that they are and will be set apart for service to the Lord. And it says here in Jude's epistle that the Lord Jesus is able to keep us from stumbling. Now certainly we have the responsibility to walk in faith and to obey the Lord, we sing the old hymn, Trust and Obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. But we also understand that our obedience is a work of God's grace as he molds us and shapes us to be the people of God, as the Holy Spirit works in our hearts and convicts us of sin and shows us the way and grows us as we expose ourselves to Scripture and cultivate a relationship of prayer with the Lord. I hope that this encourages you, um, because you and I serve a Savior who is able to keep us from stumbling and to make us uh, able to stand in His presence with great joy. You know, being a Christian is a joyful situation, and we have much to be thankful for, and we can express our gratitude to a God that is able to give us joy. May the Lord bless you and keep you today. May you be encouraged in your faith.